You'll see in the upper left corner there that Stage is highlighted. The effect of that is that when you highlight a Maverick on the Stage Selection screen, you see a pretty picture of their stage. And everything is good. So today we're starting with the Chill Penguin. The hallmark of the Mega Man series is that you can start with any Robot Master or Maverick you want, but in the case of Mega Man X, God help you if you start with anyone other than Chill Penguin, for reasons that you'll see here in a moment. So here I tried to give this particular enemy the cold shoulder, but uh, that didn't quite work. Thought it might be appropriate for this stage. Now someone has to explain to me what that white stuff on the ground is. I really don't understand. I mean, maybe I'm from, I mean, I'm from Florida, so maybe it's just something I'm missing, but I don't really understand the concept of that junk on the ground. Uh, it looks kind of like that ice stuff we put in our sweet tea, but that's all I really know. These bats here are pretty friendly now, but they will certainly drive me batty later on in this series. Trust me. Um, at this point we get these little spiky wheel enemies. I don't know how their spikes aren't cutting into the ground. Maybe it's that stuff covering the ground. Again, I don't know. Um, speaking of cold, uh, my birthday is this week. Friday. I'm very excited. Just thought I'd throw that out there. This part of the stage is kind of monotonous right now because of lacking an enhancement that we're going to get here in a minute. Mega Man X follows a general form. I'm going to be quiet during this little pseudo cutscene. Good music. An acceleration system to boost your speed sounds kind of redundant. Um, also, later on, like probably by the next video, I go through the text in a little bit more consistent of a way, so I'm sorry for that. Anyway, now we can dash, and dashing is nice. Um, later, Mega Man X game. That was a good save. See, that's why platforming is easier in the X series, because you have that wall climb. Um, later, Mega Man X games let you start off with the dash, which is even nicer. Going back to something I was saying a minute ago, too, so the Mega Man X series follows kind of a general formula. Each stage has a heart tank, which increases your life. Normally you have to have some kind of special power to get it. Um, beat that guy to the punch. <laughs> um, and then every stage will have either a sub-tank, which is like a refillable E-tank, or an enhancement like that. There is one stage that's the exception and has all three, and consequently one that only has a heart tank. But uh, we'll get to that later. That, those white balls there are really giving me trouble here. Um, again, no idea what they are. If somebody could fill me in, that would be great. And now we're at the boss. I really like the little boss doors in this game. Those are nice. Goodness, that guy seems hyper. He needs to chill out. Let's see other cold puns that I can make very cheaply. So he throws those ice balls that I dodged because you can't cheat through them, and it's just a guessing game as to whether or not he's going to throw them in such a way that you can shoot past them or not. He also makes these ice sculptures that you can blast through, and if you lose your patience like I do here, you can, but yeah, it's generally not worth it. Uh, normally it's fun to hit this penguin from the back. Don't penguins normally have umbrellas? Oh, no, sorry. Those are baddie penguins. I get the species mixed up. I also didn't know penguins could jump that high. Man, I'm learning all kinds of stuff just playing this game. This is why it was nice to be raised in this era. You learn stuff about different cultures, different animals from video games. Who knows? Maybe it's conceivable that later on in the series we'll learn about how birds reproduce by spitting eggs out of their mouths, or octopi can shoot missiles out of their tentacles. I don't know. Shotgun ice, which sounds a lot cooler than it really is. Well, it is cool, but um, it's only a shotgun in the sense that if it hits a wall, it breaks and shit splits into pieces.